I'm so happy you're meeting my parents tonight, but I need to warn you, they get really, how do I put this, hot and bothered whenever anyone talks about video streaming services. It can be a bit much. Like Netflix and Hulu? Shh, don't even say the words. You have no idea what will happen if... Hi, honey. Hi, mom. This is my friend, Jimmy. So nice to meet you, Jimmy. I hope you like pot roast. Yes, I love pot roast. It's my favorite. So what are you two up to after dinner? We have a a book report to work on. For which book? Uh, Pride and Prejudice. Uh, Didn't they make that into a movie a few years back? (laughs) Yes, I I think so, but... uh... Wouldn't it be easier and maybe more fun to watch the movie rather than read the book? I definitely watched a movie. And I'd let you watch. I think I saw that movie title on Netflix. Please pass the potatoes. <clears throat> well, well, the interesting thing about the book Jimmy, is that in a few years, no one will be reading books anymore. You kids have to get with the times. Start listening to audiobooks while you're walking home from school. Because that will give you more time in the afternoon to... Netflix and chill. Mom, please. Or better yet, we could Amazon Prime and grind. But what if I want to Hulu and screw? Should we get up and just leave them alone? No, I think they're the ones about to leave. Come here, lady. I think it's time I give you an HBO Go. Baby, you know you can have my showtime anytime. (laughs) (laughs) Should we get to work on that book report now? Nah, let's just watch the movie. everyone. In keeping with the theme of the story time portion of the video, I thought it would be fun if we made a happy anniversary card. And it's actually the 20th anniversary of the two voice actors who played the role of the hot and bothered parents in the story. So I thought it would be nice to make this card for them. So let's start with the background. For the background, I'm just using these three different Distress Oxide inks to make a kind of watery, marshy um, background for the for the toads to, to sit in. For the two toads, I'm coloring the male toad in some darker, duller colors, and then I'm gonna color the female toad in some brighter yellow-green colors. Um, For the female, I'm using YG01, YG05, and YG09. And I'm trying to shorten the coloring as much as possible just so you can get um, an idea of the different colors I used and the order in which I I use them. So if you wanna replicate it at home, you can. Um, The other thing I thought it would be good to show is how to color in the log using the flicking motion that I've demonstrated in the different Copic painting videos that I've posted, um, especially with respect to painting water. So here, what I'm doing is I'm taking Copic markers in the E30 range and the E40 range. The E30 range are the warm colors. And I start with those and I just use a flicking motion so that the lighter colors fill in the middle of the log and the darker colors fill in the outer portions. And then I finish it off with um, just going back with the E47 and E49 for the nice dark cool colors to add some nice striations to the to the wood. Now I'm just going to take the dyes and cut out the images with that. Here I'm taking one of the lily pad images and I'm stamping 20th, um, which is from the Lawn Fawn Advent set. And I'm gonna put that on the lily pad for, um, to make part of the sentiment along the top of the card. 
and the sentiment is going to read have a happy 20th anniversary um, using sentiments from the totally awesome kit the lawn fawn happy kit um, and then also we're going to have a sentiment along the bottom of the card from the lightning bug stamp set I can't remember the name offhand and there um, we're basically going to say let's see hope your day um, glows with happiness and for the glows I'm using lawn fawns embossing powder in rose gold and I thought it made a really really pretty kind of glowing um, it, it had a glowing look to it here I'm just placing the frogs on on the log and then I'm going to put some marshy weeds in in front of them um, now we're going to turn this into a light up card so I cut out um, three lightning bug images um, from the top panel of the card and I'd like to say I did that on purpose but it was a mistake I forgot to mask off the area for the lightning bugs but it ended up working out well because I was able to use a thinner paper which lets more of the light sh shine through um, and here I'm just now taping in the lightning bugs that I colored in on thinner paper and I'm just going to attach them to the to the front of the card just using regular um, regular scotch tape and I'm going to add the the marshy grass to the bottom and then some little hearts above the above the toads and then and now I'm just adding the sentiment along the top of the card as well that says have a happy 20th anniversary and the 20th is um, just popped up on some foam tape and then I'm just adding some hanging vines um, along the side so it it looks a little bit like they're, you know, in a real marshy wetland. Um, and then I'm just going to fill out the rest of the cards with the different images that are in the Totally Awesome kit. Um, you know, some different little plants and, and lily pads and water lilies and, and whatnot. As well as I think there's a couple of, of dragonflies as well. So I'm just going to add all of those and then going to move on to making the back panel of the card, which is the light up portion. For the light up portion, the most critical part is drawing this um, circuit path that you see in front of you. So if you want to make this card, I would take a screenshot of this and, um, you know, and then duplicate it. Now, the next thing I'm doing is I'm making the battery case, which is just a piece of notebook paper that you fold in half um, so that the, it can hold the battery. Now I'm using copper tape to draw, um, fill in both sides of the circuit. And um, if you want to understand the full process for how to make the light up card and why you do the different steps, I recommend that you um, review my light up card video. I'll add a link to it in the description box where it explains what, what everything means and what the negative side of the circuit is, what the positive side is, um, you know, why you, you bend the tape the way that you do, um, you know, why you, you do this move that I'm doing here, which is to smooth out all the copper tape. So, um, you know, it's not that long of a video. I think it's about 15 minutes, but it'll explain everything to you. Here, I think this is worthwhile watching just so that you understand how to build the circuit for this specific card and how to place the lights. Um, And now we're just going to add foam tape to the back of the card. And whenever I make light up cards, I use a triple layer of foam tape so that there's enough room um, so that you can press down on the battery so that it doesn't stay depressed the, the whole time because then the battery would run out. Um, another important thing about applying the tape is to make sure that you have the entire battery case encased in foam tape because otherwise the battery will, if it's not in case like that, it'll slip out and, and then the card won't work. And I know that because I, I did that. Um, okay, so now our card is finished um, and we're just gonna add some final touches. I'm gonna add some sparkle pen to the, the different images on the, on the front of the card and then glossy accents to the hearts and the fireflies 
and the dragon flies. Um, and I find that when you have a light up card, it's a really good idea to put glossy accents on the image that you're lighting up. It'll just enhance the, the light up effect, I think. So I hope you enjoyed this card and I hope you try it out. It's a lot of fun. Um, and I will see you in the next one. Have a great day, everyone.